These people carrying placards are members of Nusaf 3 project in Okidi Parish in Atiaksap County, Amuru District. They are blaming their district leaders for refusing to release the funds meant to pay their supplier of the oxen they procured. They wanted us to get suppliers. They wanted us to get supply which is in the arms of district so that for them even they earn something in it. The LC5 ring the phone for the, the, the district management. Told us to come back, change us away from that office in Natia. Not in Natia. In the district, we went time is four times. The Atiak Sub County LC3 chairperson, Wilfred Udia Baguma, places the blame for this confusion on the district technical leadership, including the chief administrative officer, the LC5 chairperson, and the NUSAF3 desk officer. The technicality is being headed by the cow of Amor district local government, who is the supervisor, both for NDO and the NOSA facilitator. And when you look at all this mess here has been brought by the technical people, which is being headed by cow. At a point cow can come like the NDO, at the point cow can come as the district cow, which one is which. He calls for intervention from the higher officials from the office of the prime minister because this mess is due to the need for kickbacks from the technical people. But they need supplier to first give them kickback, then the money will be signed for. Is that one there how we have to go? There are a number of frauds over this. People are abusing. That is the total abuse of the project of the government. Totally, the government is being abused. When you look at all these walls here, because people want to be supplier, Everyone wants to be supplier. I think uh, if, if we are monitors, we should be monitor. We monitor the progress of the, of, of the, of the project. The supplier, Francis Ochen of the A&O Gene Uganda Limited, is speaking the same language as the LC3 chairperson. Because there are very many interests from the NOSAF technical people from the district, even some politicians like Chairman LC5, Vice, and other technical people like Kao, Nusaf Deso, Fisa Doreen. These are the people who have frustrated the Nusaf project in Amoro like nothing. Eight oxen and ox plows were bought by the supplier for each of the 21 groups in Okidi and Powell parishes at a cost of 1 million shillings per ox and 300,000 shillings per ox plow. Concerning the supply that I did, by now, I would have received our payment in full. But due to the confusion which is there at the district, up to now, our case is going more and more. Kao has brought the allegation on us, the supplier, that for us, we did not follow the procedure to get the contract. And yet, for us, for us as a supplier, we don't participate in the evaluation processes or we don't award the contract by ourselves, then we do it ourselves. The Northern Uganda Social Security Fund, commonly known as NUSAF 3, is a $130 million five-year project funded by the World Bank that started in 2016 to help the poor and vulnerable households in Northern Uganda. However, when we contacted the Chief Administrative Officer, Francis Oluka, he revealed that the current mess surrounding procurement started at the community level. You may not even need to come to the district. The issue is that the mm. procurement by those people, the procurement was mismanaged. Mm. There was mismanagement of procurement. Mm. And the IGG has taken over. They are investigating, they all say. Uh. 
Yes. So what was like at what level was the mismanagement? <laughs> so IG just taken over investigations and I cannot reveal much since the investigation. Uh. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. So you may not even you may not even come because that's in the same the LC5 chairperson, Michael Lacoigne, sat down for an interview with us and says Amuru District Local Government is aware of the murky situation of the Nusaf 3 procurement in the two parishes and that investigations have allegedly implicated the supplier of having bribed Nusaf 3 facilitators, giving them each 2 million shillings to win the contract. I sat down with the executive we investigated we found yes they meddled in the procurement and indeed they had got tendency of corruption and the money exchange and in awarding this contract i forwarded also to igg myself and secondly i we said ppda is supposed to investigate this company by blacklisting them not to render any supply blacklist the company and blacklist the directors he further alleges that the NUSAF 3 facilitators who took the bribe from the supplier are on the run. I have got even detail how when this passion were paid, one passion was paid at uh, on the 6th. Two of them, all the two were paid 2, two million. One was paid 2.4 uh, million, one was paid 2.3 uh, million, and all these NUSAF facilitators. And the person that gave the money were the directors of the company. And uh, one was given money at 3.59, one was given the money at 4.03 p.m. and given by all these company directors. And when you look at the contract, this supply, you, you see that it is a connival. All the, 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 the group, said the price for one cow is uniformly one million. But you, are, you can, even the smallest one is one million. You, are, you will never find cows or cattle in the market that has got uniform price. Even all the 21 group has got uniform amount of money that is supposed to passage the cattle. You'll Both the chief administrative officer and the LC5 chairperson confirmed that the matter has been taken up by the IGG, but the LC5 chairperson threatens to take on the IGG head on if they don't find the supplier guilty. He also promises to give the affected groups legal support in case the supplier decides to sue. The 21 groups were supposed to receive 260 million shillings for procurement of their animals and inputs. The LC5 chairperson says this money is intact in their accounts.